Hello, welcome to Cloud Channel. In this module, we will learn how to send telemetry from a device to an IoT hub and also how to monitor it with the Azure CLI. So the in this module, we'll learn about Azure IoT Hub. So Azure IoT Hub is an Azure service that enables us to ingest high volumes of telemetry from our IoT devices into the cloud for storage or processing. So in this uh, cordless uh, module, I use the Azure CLI to create an IoT Hub and a simulated device. So I will send the device telemetry to the hub and send messages, call methods, and update properties on the device. I will also use the Azure portal to show you guys how to visualize the device metrics. So I will log into Azure portal and start with the Azure CLI. I'm in the Azure portal now. So all we need to do, just go here, uh, just click on the, the Azure uh, Cloud Shell. So you will see uh, a session open. So you can choose either Bash or PowerShell. So I choose the Bash session. And we just need to sign into the Azure portal and open the Cloud Shell and then choose the Bash. And, uh, the, and we need two Azure CLI sessions. So just click on new session, so it will open a new window. So here I, I have another session. So totally I have two sessions. So I will run um, the steps in these two sessions. And I will start with um, Azure extension add Azure IoT. So that is our first command. The command adds the Microsoft Azure IoT extension for Azure CLI to our CLI server. The IoT extension adds IoT Hub, IoT Edge, and IoT Device Provisioning Service specific commands to Azure CLI. Okay, so now I will run the, the command. Here you see that is the extension add name Azure IoT. Just enter. After we install the Azure IoT extension, so we don't need to install it again in any cloud cell session. So here, if you have another session, so you don't have to run that. All you need to do in one session. So you can see on my screen that right now uh, it's installed. Okay, so the next step, And the next step, create an IoT Hub. So in this step, we use the Azure CLI to create a resource group. And we're already in Azure CLI. We uh, create a resource group and an IoT Hub. So an Azure resource group is a logical container into which Azure resources are deployed and managed. So an IoT Hub acts as a central message up for bi-directional communication between our IoT application and the devices. So in, our, in my first session, I will create a new resource group and I will choose the, the region. So I will call my resource group uh, is my resource group, or you can choose, let's say if I don't want this name, right? You, you can choose any name you want. So. You can say a resource group one if you want anything you can choose. So for now, I will call my resource group, my resource group, and my location is East US, and then enter the command. So this, uh, now I'm running easy group create command to create the resource group, and it will create in East US location. So here you can see that East US and this command is completed. And the next one, so now I will create a resource group um, and also my IOD hub. And IOD hub name must be globally unique in Azure. So we can use our IOD hub name in the rest of the, the module, wherever we see the placeholder. Okay, so let me enter the command here. So here you see that AZ, I would help create a resource group, my resource group, and the name is, I need to enter, I'll just say PR. 
I would have zero. Now I enter my I would have name here. I would have zero one and enter it. So it will create the the I would have. And now to create and start a simulated device, what I need to do, I need to run a command that uh, device identity create and my IoT help name. And here you see that it's still running. So once this is completed, then I will run my next command. It takes just a little while. And let me maximize this um, session. And also, meanwhile, if you want to check if your IoT Hub is created or not, just go back here and uh, click on the resource groups. And you should see a resource group, my resource group, and click on the resource group. And right now the PR IOT Hub 01 is created and see if it is uh, available here. And uh, I will run my second command once this is completed, it's still running. I'll just give a couple of minutes. Now it's completed. So the next step that uh, I create a simulated device in the, the first session. And the simulated device sends a device telemetry to the, the IoT hub that we just created. And in the second session, so we monitor events and telemetry. So now let me create and start a simulated device in copy. Uh, and here I'm going to enter the, the command. So here I need to enter my IoT hub name. So that is PR IoT hub. 0, 01 and just hit enter. The next one is just enter my I already have name and the device sends telemetry to the IOD hub that we just created and receives messages from it. And here you can see that device simulation in progress. And now you see that 3% and it's keep changing and 4%. Okay. And to monitor a device, right? So we have to go to the second session and uh, run a command as the IOD hub monitor events command. So this command continuously monitors the simulated device. The output shows telemetry such as events and uh, property state changes that the, the simulated device sends to the IoT hub. So um, let me enter the command here. So here you can see that AZ IoT hub monitor events output table and here uh, I will enter the, the IoT hub name here IoT hub 01 and just enter and continue, yes. And here you can see that updating required uh, dependency and update completed. And after we monitor the simulated device in the second uh, CLI session, we can always press Control C to stop monitoring. Uh, and we can also keep the second CLI session open to use like, you know, uh, for the steps, I I'll keep it open. And I'll come back to the, the first session that way, okay, the, the device simulation is still in progress, 31%. So I will let it complete. So let it reach out to 100%. Then I will perform the next steps. So, here we can see that the simulated device is still running. And if this is done, then I will run my next command that simulate device and uh, the IOT hub. And in the second session that we send a message. 
the command sends cloud to device message from our IoT hub to simulated device. So we can see like, you know, the message includes two key value pairs. Uh, let me show you how to do that. So here we can still see that, like, you know, let me stop this. I'm stopping monitoring. And now how to send a, a message. So here we need to enter uh, I already have name. Yeah, I already have zero one. And here you can see that uh, about message we are sending the hello world message. Uh, and we can see that in a first session, but I, I, I don't, I'm not entering this command yet. So I want this uh, simulation complete. And right now it's sixty one percent. So eventually it will it will take like you know uh two to three minutes to complete. Let's wait for that. And here you can see that hundred percent completed. So now I will enter this command, and we can see that in a uh, first CLI. And here you can see the. And if it is, so let me enter the command. Just enter the I would have name here. I would have zero one. And here you can see that message, hello world. And next, uh, I use the CLI to call a device method. As we did before, confirm that simulated device in this first CLI session is running. So we can still see that in the second session, uh, I will run the, the AZ IoT Hub invoke device method. Okay, just uh, go to second session and enter the command and enter the, the IoT Hub name, PR IoT Hub 01, enter. And if you see that in a first session, we can see that the device simulation in progress, 16%. And I will use the CLI to update the device properties. As I did before, I uh, confirm that simulated device in the first CLI is still running. Now I will run this command in my second session and make sure you update the I would have name here. Just say PR I would have zero one. Enter. And enter one more command. Just So now in this session, right, the, the second session, we ran these two commands. And in the first session, we confirmed that the simulated device outputs the property update. Okay, so here you can see that device simulation in progress and uh, we see the property update. Now in the second session, uh, I will run the AZ IoT device twin show command. This command reports changes to the device properties. Yeah, I'll go to second uh, session and replace the IoT I have name here. So now how to view messaging metrics using the Azure portal. So as I mentioned before, all the changes that we did using this Azure Cloud Shell using bash mode. So we can see the message metrics using Azure portal. So the Azure portal enables us to manage all aspects of our IoT hub and devices. So in a typical IoT hub application that ages telemetry from devices and we might want to monitor devices or view metrics on device telemetry. So how to visualize the messaging metrics in the Azure portal? 
So I will go to Azure uh, portal, just click on home. And here you can see that all resources are just click on all resources. And you, here you can see all list of IoT uh, hubs available. Or you can also go to resource group and select the resource group and select the, the IoT hub. And just go here, matrix. And here uh, you can see that uh, I would have name and the metric that you want to see. So uh, example, I want to see the total, uh, th the, the telemetry messages sent or maybe total messages that sent. We can check anything. So here if you go, right, the total, So total number of messages used. So here you can see that the, the time frame, and here you can see the. So I have two spikes. So I did one in the uh, the time it shows four o'clock, and the next one it shows at eleven forty one. So uh, optionally, we use the metric dropdown to display other metrics uh, in the simulated device. For example, C2D message deliveries completed or total devices. So you can choose any metric. If, if, if you want to check the new metrics, right? just click on alerts and come back here and click on metrics. So here you can see that C2D messages appointed or C2D messages expired. And here you can see a lot of metrics. So this is how we can send the telemetry messages to Azure IoT Hub. So before I end this module, so I want to go back to what we did in this uh, session. So in this session, we learned how to send uh, a telemetry from a device to an IoT Hub and monitor it with the, the Azure CLI. And uh, what are the steps that we performed? So we logged into Azure portal and we created two sessions, two Cloud Shell sessions. And um, we installed the Azure IoT Hub extension. We created a resource group deployed in the East US region and also created IoT Hub and then send messages and also checking the status. And also ch we check the metrics using the Azure portal. If you have any questions about Azure IoT Hub or how to send a telemetry message, uh, to an I would have uh, please post all your questions in the comments section. I'll try to respond uh, as soon as possible. If you like this video, please subscribe and share the channel. Thank you.